The main landing is made by the British 29th Division and they're to land at the toe of the Gallipoli Peninsula in support of the main British landing. We hear that the 3rd Brigade um, lost its direction and landed on the wrong beach. The Ottomans at that time, more or less ready for this invasion, their soldiers, their officers, their system turn out to be better than the British. So actually it is an Ottoman victory gained by the Ottomans, not because of some geographical factors or some of the leadership failures of the Allied side. After the landing, the Anzacs dug in and a stalemate followed. Patrols went looking for enemy weak spots. You are a staff officer, Blamey. Yes, sir, and that, sir, is why I need the best intelligence. But it is not why you, yourself, must go wandering off into the darkness, is it, Major? The landing of this force was a very remarkable and gallant feat of arms, sir, on which we should now consolidate. On Gallipoli, he was a staff officer the whole time. As a staff officer, you need to get out and see what's going on. You can't spend the whole time in, your, in, your head, in the headquarters. Go on. Take two men with you. Yes, sir. And try to bring them back. I know he led um, uh, a skirmish with two other uh, Australians. Um, a bombardier and a, a sapper, I think it was, into the trenches at night. They walked into big trouble. He was an intensely loyal man, not only to his superiors, but to his subordinates and to everyone who put their faith in him. Blamey had an, uh, an awesome sense of command. You could feel it coming from him personally when you're in his company. Major, look. He was an extremely tough taskmaster, but he was focused on getting the job done, and he, he wasn't unfair. Yes, hello. You speak English? No, Francais. Je souhaite organiser une trêve. Pardon? Pour les morts. Ah, oui, and uh, truce. And... Oh, pay. What? He wants to organize a burial party. Could be a trick. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Some might have shot first and asked questions later, but Thomas Blamey negotiated a remarkable truce. <laughs> 